Um, what does it mean um, that God repented? Um, it's quite confusing because uh, the term repent um, is something which is uh, more so related with uh, you know sinners and things like that. But let's let's see what the Bible says. And the Lord repented of the evil which he thought to do unto his people. The Lord repented. Exodus 32 verse 14. Uh -huh. Now, is repenting really stopping sinning or uh, things like that? Was God a sinner? You see, to repent of sin means to basically change your mind about about sin repentance comes from the root word metanoia which means to change one's mind okay now at at one time i'm sure you thought sin was uh, good and acceptable and even fun and uh, believing in other gods and believing in other things was was fun okay but when you repented, when you changed your mind from the things that you believed in, and now you believe in the true God, you see sin as evil and harmful. And any change of mind can be described as repentance. That's exactly what repentance is. Okay. Now, when the Bible says God changed his mind or he repented, it is speaking of God in human terms. The technical term which is used is called uh, uh, anthropomorphic. Okay, this, this is the technical term which uh, is used in this context. It basically means having human characteristics. So you see, God repenting, it doesn't mean that uh, God was a sinner. It doesn't mean that. It means God interacting with people in humanly terms, okay? Of course, you know, God knows everything. And all along, what he will or he will not do, he knows. And he never changes his mind because he never gets new information that uh, has to be considered. However, as God interacts with people, he interacts in real time, okay? We have to understand that God interacts with people now in real time, okay? And God does not interact with us today on the basis of the sin that we might commit next month. Today, if we are walking in obedience and fellowship with him, God chooses not to act on what he knows is coming. Likewise, if we are living in sinfulness today, but he knows we are going to repent next year, God does not treat us as he will next year. He deals with us now in the situation that we are in, in our time, this time, right now, right away, okay? You see, the Bible is mentioning so many places in that uh, God is repenting, and this one really confuses people. And uh, just as a, a brother, a subscriber, I think he's a brother or sister, I don't know, uh, calling uh, him or herself Wanderer, just of uh, someone on, on YouTube, eh, asked me this question, why, why was God repenting? And I thought, let me answer this question, why is uh, the Bible seeming as if God was repenting? Was God a sinner? See, another verse here, and I thank you brother for that uh, for that uh, question, because it edifies all of us. And if you have any other question, please uh, always bring it up. Now, see what the Bible says. Therefore now, amend your ways and your doings, and obey the voice of the Lord, your God. And the Lord will repent him of the evil that he has pronounced against you. Repent. Mm -hmm. You see there? Let's also see First Chronicles. First Chronicles uh, 21, verse 15. It also talks about the same issue here. Uh, it's saying, And God sent an angel unto Jerusalem to destroy it. And as he was destroying, see this, the Lord beheld, and he repented of 
the evil. See, God is repenting him of the evil and say to the angel that destroyed, It is enough. Stay now thine hand. And the angel of the Lord stood by the threshing floor of Onan of the Jebusite. So, God is telling his angel, no, 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 repent. Repent. Basically, change. Change your mind. Stop. Stop what you're about to do. It's okay. It's okay. This is why it's very important for us to understand what the word means. Because many people say just, uh, let's repent. Repent from your sins. Yes, it's okay. What is a sin? A sin is basically something that you believe in. A sin can be your money, can be some gods, can be anything. So you repent from sin. It doesn't mean that you stop sinning. It basically means stop trusting in that thing. That's, that's what repentance means. It doesn't mean stop sinning. <laughs> because if uh, repentance meant stop sinning, then God will be a sinner. Because there are almost 32 different verses in the Bible where we see God repenting. Okay? Repent. Most of the places where we see the word repent is God himself who is repenting. There are about actually 46 times in 43 verses in the King James talking about the word repent. But uh, actually, I did a count. It's about 32 of them talking about God himself repenting. So if repenting is all about stop sinning, then it means God was a sinner. But that's not true, okay? So specifically, when you look at... Uh, when you look at um, at a, at a God eh, and how He does His things, God repents of the punishment that He was going to send, because the people repented. Okay, when people wake up and they repent, uh huh. What happens? God also repents. God was sending judgment, but in response to the sinner's change of mind about to sin. God also changed his mind as well about the judgment. Because of, the, of, of this action that people do, then God takes another action. When you repent, he repents. You see the point? So, on the eternal level, on the eternal level, we have to understand that God is repenting because he's seen you also repenting. Okay? And God never changes his mind. In fact, in the book of Numbers 23, 19, let me show you here. Numbers 23, 19. It tells us something here. God is not a man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. You see? He has said, and he shall not do it. Oh, no, and... And shall he not do it? He has said, and shall he not do it? Or has he spoken, and shall not make it good? Are you seeing the point? So, you may be asking, God is not a man that should lie, and that he should repent. And yet, we are seeing again, God repenting. And you can get confused and ask yourself, why, why all this confusion? Why is the Bible giving confusion? No. You have to understand, you have to understand that uh, uh, God says that he will not lie or repent because he never gains access to new information. But on the level of interaction with humans, from our perspective, he does. Although he knows that, it, that uh, what will happen in the future or what will happen uh, sometime, you know, in the days ahead, according to our timeline, he reacts to us in real time, like I've told you here. He reacts to us in real time when the situation changes. Okay? He, that, when, when you wake up and you change and you say, I'm going to do evil. And just the minutes before you said, I will do good. Then God reacts to you in real time. When the situation changes is when he changes his actions and his responses to us. Hope you've been able to understand that uh, why really God repented because it's really important to understand that. And once you understand the essence of God repenting, it will even help you to understand that our salvation is not based on our works. Because if it is all about stop sinning, because sinning is the bad things that you're doing, 
if it's all about stop sinning, then it would mean you can lose your salvation because you sin almost every day. But our salvation is based on our faith, on whom we have trusted, okay? So, are you trusting God? Are you putting all your trust in Him? I always like to end with the gospel. The gospel is found in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. It's all about what Jesus did for us at the cross. He died for our sins, He was buried, and rose again according to the scriptures. If you trust that that death was all for you, then you'll be saved. All you need to do is just to confess to him and tell him what you've believed. Tell him what you've believed. How you now understand that he died for your sins, he was buried and rose again. And once you do that, my friends, you're already saved. And there's nothing else to worry you. Hope this has been a blessing and hope a wanderer you've been able to understand that um, uh, question that you've asked me. God bless you, and if you're there and you have any other Bible question that you may need me to answer, please feel free. And also you can subscribe and uh, hit the notification button so that you don't miss a new video because we post new videos every day, actually almost three to five videos every day to edify uh, people and uh, make them be able to understand the word of God. Thank you. You can share this video to others so that they can also be able to understand. God bless you.